Hey y'all, I'm back with a Project Life and Memory Planning Process video for the Hip Kit Club using the August 2017 kits. I combined the two videos this week because they were fairly short, so I thought it would be okay to go ahead and combine those. I'm going to start off with my, with my Project Life Process video first, and I'm just setting out my photos and trying to figure out um, which cards I want to use. I really wanted to use a few more cards um, this week and not as many photos, and so in order to kind of resolve that, what I do is I cut up one of my photos a little bit more um, than I normally would and or I, I cut it up just in general. Typically I've been leaving them three by four, but I do cut up a couple of my photos so that I could have the background um, have some color. So <clears throat> I realized cutting it with my scissors was not the best idea and so I went ahead and used my trimmer to, to fix that and then I also cut that 4x6 photo right in half because my pocket that I'm going to be using is are both 3x4 pockets so I'm going to go ahead and adhere the two photos that I needed to adhere and then I'm going to start embellishing so this is a pretty simple process I do pull quite a few of the um, different elements from the Maggie Holmes carousel collection so the first thing I use is one of the chipboard pieces um, from the 12x12 12 12x12 12, 12 chipboard sheet which comes in our embellishment kit and then um, so I pull about three of those and I'm still having lots of trouble with this glue so um, I was just hoping that it would magically work and it doesn't so I'm going to put that away and try to use my dot runner um, of course I'm still fiddling with it and then so I decide to use that even though it's not the best type of adhesive for um, kind of a ripped adhesive back piece but that's that's totally fine. I was able to get it to stick for now. And then I add a little puppy heart. I love those little puppy hearts. Um, I think they're by Bella Boulevard and they're just uh, stark white. They're really pretty, just a nice little touch. So I added that on top of my photo down there at the bottom. And then I added a little uh, tiny word or phrase sticker underneath that camera at the top left and a little cardstock heart that comes from the Maggie Holmes carousel collection. Now from that same collection, I am adding some puffy stickers to this photo, and I just put love, and then I put a heart, and then I put this, and those letters came from that puffy heart set, and then now this is an exclusive, I believe that's an exclusive piece, um, if I'm not mistaking, that piece that says today, and so I am going to use that um, on my the right side of my crafty photo, or my craft desk there. But first, I just stapled on a little heart that says filled with joy when I got my little bunny cup from Starbucks. So this was probably back in, I want to say like late March. Um, so it was cl probably getting close to Easter around that time. So I wanted to add something else with that today. And what I decided to add is just craft, which I know is pretty cliche. But um, I wanted kind of a shorter word and I didn't want to fill too much with like thinking of a catchy phrase So I just decided to use the word craft and then I added a little heart right next to it. That's also from the carousel collection and The next thing I'm gonna do is grab a little label from pretty little studio And I'm going to use that as a journaling spot now I kind of fiddle with it for a little bit because I wasn't quite sure um, if I wanted to use it as a um, like to put a phrase sticker on top um, and then also I couldn't find my pen, the pen that I wanted to use. So that's kind of what I was doing um, there. I was looking for a pen to use. But anyway, so I uh, went ahead and wrote with one of my just recollections pens. I think it's like a 0 0.2, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, 0 0.2. Added a little black and white bow to that middle card just to have, have a little something extra and a little pop. And then that was pretty much it. So now moving on to my memory planner process video. I am first just kind of setting out my photos and adhering them with my dot runner. And the next thing I'm going to do is pull my uh, cardstock stickers from the Maggie Holmes Bloom, Bloom, what am I saying, carousel collection um, and start adding some of the stickers. You can see that I've used a ton and I'm really not, um, I don't have a lot of sticker sheets in my, in my stash that have this many stickers missing, which I'm really proud of. Um, it's hard to, I mean, this is really, let's see, is this my second project with this kit? And I've used half of those stickers, but I'm totally okay with that because when I try to save it for something special, a lots of times I don't end up using them. So um, I was really glad that I'm almost halfway through, if not more than halfway through done or halfway through with those stickers. So 
I'm continuing to add more cardstock stickers from that same sheet. And it was a perfect uh, week to do that because my sister's twins were born um, and they were girls. Of course, we didn't know what they were going to be. And so um, we were all really excited when we found out that they were girls. And uh, perfect little set to add for a girl-themed little layout. So I'm also adding some, I believe those are exclusive, like the pieces that say little things. And then also I added um, a word that said sweet that came from the carousel ephemera. And then I added a label underneath that, but I had not, I have not adhered that down because I still need to find my pen that I'm going to be using to do my journaling. So I've got my Papermate Ink Joy pen. I'm really loving that pen so far. I've talked about it quite a bit. I'm going to journal about the twins being born, also journal about my daughter eating a cinnamon roll but asking for donuts instead, and um, also I'm going to journal about us getting a little manicure and pedicure. My, my daughter just got her nails painted, but um, I got a pedicure, and I'm trying to think of what else happened that week. I think that's pretty much it. I think I did the major things because I, I have a ton of photos of the twins being born, but... Um, I only added a couple kind of like some significant photos. So that wraps up my spread. Here are some final photos. I hope you enjoyed these two processes. Um, comment down below. Let me know um, if you enjoy both of them, if you'd rather have them all separate. Norm Lately, I've been separating my processes. This week, they were just a lot um, shorter, so I didn't. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. We'll talk to you later. Bye.